In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a rainbow loom Christmas wreath. So you're going to need one loom, and you want to have it set up in a rectangular shape so that the pins are even with one another. And you're going to want to move your connector pieces to the outside. So we're going to be working with the length of six pins. So you want to make sure the blue part is away from uh, the length of six pins. And I've chosen dark green and red for my wreath colors. So what I'm going to do first before I even start putting anything on the loom is for this wreath I've decided to add red onto the green for like berries or some kind of decoration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a red band, I'm going to put it on my hook and I'm going to wrap it around several times. So it's on there once so I'll wrap it around a second time and then a third time and a fourth time. Um, I guess that's what I'll do, four times. And then you want to take your green band and put it on your hook like this. If you want, you could hook it onto the loom just to get something to hold the other end. And then stretch it out. And what we're going to do is we're going to be sliding the red right onto the green. And sometimes it's difficult to get all of the pieces to go on. It's a little tricky, but that's what we're going to do. We're just going to slide it on there, and we want to do that for as many um, berries as you want to be on your wreath. So that's one, and I guess I'm going to do five, so I have to do it four more times. So I'll show you how to do it one more time, and then I'll fast forward for the other three. So you put it on your hook, so you want to wrap it around one time and then a second time we're going to do a third time and then a fourth if you want to make it tighter you can wrap it around as many times or as few times as you would like then you want to take your green band put it on your loom and then we're going to take the hook and stretch it so it's tight Take the red bands and slide them up onto the green. And like I said, sometimes it's hard to get them all to go on. It's a little tricky. There we go. So that's my second one. And like I said, I'm going to make three more. So I'll fast forward here. So now I have my berries on my green rubber bands and I'm just going to set them off to the side for now and I'm going to work on my wreath. So as I said I'm going to be making it the length of six pins and I'm going to start with um, the pin to the left. This is the second pin in from the end of the loom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to Put the band on and twist and put it to the one to the right of it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to follow around and twist in a rectangular shape. So that's my second. I'm going to do it again for a third band. I'm going to do it again for a fourth band. And then I'm going to do it one more time for a fifth band. So now we've reached the length of six pins and now I'm going to go up and twist. I always want to twist the bottom layer and now I'm going to work my way back down doing that same thing. So I'm going to put the band on and twist. Just keep following this pattern. all the way back to the start so we've gone the length of six pins and now what I want to do is connect it to where we started so I'm going to put one on those two pins 
So that is what your bottom layer will look like. And now that we've done that, we want to do it all over again. So we're going to start at the bottom left. This time there's no need to twist. So we're just going to go back over the same exact bands that we already did. We're going to go and make a rectangle shape. When we get to the top, we go back, we go up one, and then work our way back down. And then we get to the start. We want to do one more from the back, moving it forward. And now you should have two layers on. And now we want to start to take the bottom layer off. We're going to just work in the same order as what we put them on. So I'm going to grab the very bottom band and pull it over the top. And I'm also going to take a second band off of each pin. So I took two from the end, I'm just going to work my way up, always taking the bottom two off. So you want to make sure that your bands didn't overlap each other and that you're taking them off in the same exact order as what you put them on. I'm just going to take two from every one. And then flip to the other side. Again, we're going to take two bands from the bottom of each pin. Sometimes they're a little hard to grab. And we're just going to work our way back to back around till we get to the start. All right, and now we want to push all of that down. And now we're going to add our next layer. We're always going to be working with these pins, and we're it's going to stay the same every time. Um, the only thing that's going to change is when we want to put a berry on, we're going to have to add that, um, one of the bands that we already strung. So I think I'm going to start to add some with this layer. So I'm going to start with the far left pin, and I'm just going to place this band on that has the red in the center. And now I'm just going to work my way around again. And I'm going to go to the back. And then I think I'm going to add another berry. So I'm going to take another one of these that I've already done and just add that here. And I'm going to just keep working my way back to the start. Alright, now that I've added that layer, I'm going to take the bottom layer off. Again, I want to remove two bands from every pin. Just going to go around the rectangle. Now this is the third layer of bands that I've put on and I'm going to put six layers on in total. 
and flip to the other side. Again, removing two from the bottom. It's really an easy concept to just keep doing the same thing. Nothing really changes except for when you want to add your berries. And then the trickiest part's going to be taking it off. But even that isn't too terribly hard. So you want to push all that down. Now, as I said, that was our third layer. So I want to add a fourth layer. Again, starting at the far left. And this time I'm going to add some more berries. So I think I'll add one right here. And I'm going to just keep keep going around. And then make my way back. Now I'm going to add another berry right here. Make sure that it's pushed down. And now I want to take the bottom layer off. So that was the fourth layer that I had put on. Again, I'm taking two bands from the bottom of every pin. Now if you want, you can buy, there's tons of different buttons and beads and charms that you could add if you wanted to. Um, the local craft stores have all kinds of really neat things. Um, I just chose to show um, the, the berries because it's something that a lot of people probably already have is the red rainbow loom bands. So again, we're just doing two from every one, and then we're back to the start here. All right, that as I said, that was my fourth layer. Push all that down. Now I want to add a fifth layer. So again, starting at the far left, Just working my way around the rectangle. Now I'm going to put the other band with berry on at the end here. And then I'm going to work my way back up. And now I'm going to remove the bottom two bands. All right, that was our fifth layer. And now I want to do one more layer. This is the end of part one of how to make a rainbow loom wreath. Please continue to part two to learn how to finish your wreath.